what brings you joy. A few weeks ago, I attended a Tantra speed dating. It's not what you think, nobody gets naked. And um, it was actually a very transformative event. Each person that you talk to, there is a different activity. Now the activities are wonderful rituals. And I've been thinking about this one a lot and I've been applying it and using it and playing with it. It was the station of joy. And so at this station with this person, I was supposed to tell them what brings me joy and then do a movement with it. And so my first one is, I am in joy when I'm with Bella and I hold her. And then he is supposed to say, um, tweez and joy when, and whatever I said. So tweez and joy when she's with Bella. Another one was, um, I am in joy when I am cooking. <laughs> I'm in joy when I'm gardening and I'm like shoveling and I'm pulling weeds. I'm in joy when I'm dancing and I dance. Okay, and I didn't know I was doing that. And so then when you see yourself being interpreted by another person or mirroring you, like, oh, that's my body motion of being in joy. So that was really interesting for me. And so I've been doing that lately, leaning into joy and discovering my joys. Like I'm in joy when I'm reading. I'm in joy when I'm writing. I'm in joy when I'm meditating. I was like, oh, it changes. Now, here's the kicker. He had to tell me, and then I would interpret it. And he only had like four or five joys. Beyond that, he kind of really struggled. That's when I realized that men, they don't get checked in that much. Where people ask them, what is their joy? They haven't even checked in with themselves. What is their joy? Isn't that interesting? Maybe that's your case. Maybe you only have four or five joys because you never checked in with yourself and what brings you joy. And joy is actually different than happiness. Happiness is a choice. Joy is a state. So right now, check in with what is in your joy and do a movement for it. And then reaffirm it by doing it every single day so that you know what your joy is. When you are in joy, you will vibrate differently. You will bring joy to others and you will have more joy. Your soul will try to find a way to do more of it. And things won't seem so hard and they won't seem like disciplines, but they will be blissipin. And I love that word, blissipin. These days, I'm trying to do everything with blissipin and joy. You know what else I am in joy? When I have warm laundry. Warm laundry, and this just came out of the laundry. And I will just embrace it and lay in it. I'm in joy when I'm, in, when I'm around warm laundry. <laughs> you know why? Because that means I'm abundant where I have something that washes and dries my clothes for me. That I have clean clothes and things are clean. And I love the smell of clean, warm laundry. And my laundry smells like lemongrass because I put lemongrass essential oils on wool balls. And I toss it in and it's so delicious. I'm in joy when I'm connecting with my clients. And I see the shine in their eyes. I'm in joy when we share moments like this that are real and true and authentic. I'm in joy when I'm talking to my family and friends and connecting just because what is your joy? I would love to know. May you always be in your element and join our mailing list so that I can give you more tips like this that I don't actually um, do online. So may you be free, may you find peace and may you have grace and courage. Click the link in my bio or visit soyouboutique.net to get free energy tips sent to your inbox or to book a session with me.